Uh, but yeah, so I, I found out about Neo Geo Rage X and SNA, SNES 9X and all these things, more or less, uh, right when, like, I only had access to a couple of games. So I spent a fairly large chunk of my, my childhood emulating, uh... NES and SNES games, not realizing that they were NES games. I had never seen an NES before. I'd never seen a SNES before. Everybody I, I knew owned a... Oh. Everyone I knew owned either a an N64 or a couple of friends I knew owned, like, a Dreamcast or a PlayStation. Everybody had an N64, though. Uh, like, freaking Nintendo really, really has managed to hit the saturation point when it comes to uh, a console in every house. I, it's actually, it's honestly really impressive. We've been watching interesting retrospectives on, like, the Wii, the Switch, the Wii U. Ah. I am one of the few people that really liked the Wii U. I still like it. I should probably, like, actually set it up. I haven't used it. I like it, I just don't use it. I mainly just like the games that were on the Wii U more than anything else. That's amazing how many people have Switches. I mean, it's the cheapest of the, the three modern consoles. It's pretty damn powerful. It's portable. And the library is freaking amazing. That Nintendo is killing game emulators. I would, I'd be more okay with them trying to shut these things down if they actually made an honest attempt at. Wait, why am I refilling that? If they made an honest attempt at, you know, providing their own emulation. Because I know, I know Nintendo likes to keep everything on console, but like, I would love it if they just released the like. SNES PC thing uh, that's effectively just a repackaged SNES 9X with a better UI and official support and just sold every single old Nintendo game and yeah, just keep all of their libraries alive. It'd be nice. Uh, let's see. So I guess we're already stocked. I've got enough food. Yeah? No. Wait. Yeah, no, I guess I don't. Weird. Well, I can make something? This is gonna be a pain in the butt. Okay, so one of these is wrong. Okay, so the carrot is right. And the eggplant was in the wrong location. The UI is more than a little fiddly. So the carrot is good, the eggplant goes here, and the potato is wrong. Okay. Tomato. There we go. Carrot, eggplant, stew. And it's by and far one of the better ones that I got, but I don't know if I got the seeds for it. Uh. What can I make large quantities of? Not as many things as I'd like. Okay, so that's... That's some good... That's some good meals. Did we get eggplant seeds? You know, interesting question. I did. I got four. Let's see. I might have also gotten some potato seeds. I'll have to work on these things. A little bit of honey and carrots. Mmm. Steamy goodness. No, I actually... I haven't tried that before. That actually sounds pretty good. But not many more potato seeds. Now you made me hungry. Dang it. 
I was kind of hoping I could finish the rest of the stream and then go eat, but now, now I'm... Well, I have a whole bunch of chestnut Kit, Kit Kats, so I might just kind of slowly... Uh, slowly make my way through some of them. I need apples or peanut butter and apples. Huh. I've never had peanut butter and apples. Peanut butter and celery was my go-to when I was a kid. I should mess around with some more, like, kind of folk snacks and stuff. Because that sort of thing would be good. Cause I, I actually don't cook much, and I probably should experiment more. But I, the weird thing is, what I really need to do is set up, like, a recording setup for... Whoops. Uh, set up a recording setup so that I can record myself cooking. I don't even necessarily have to put it up on YouTube anywhere, but having, like, a recording setup and the intention to make a video out of it makes me infinitely more productive. Like, uh, I've got an iPad that has, Ado not Adobe, uh, just Procreate on it, which sounds, that's a really weird title for a thing. It makes sense, but it also just sounds like Procreate is in, like, making babies. Uh, but it's, you know, it's just like, it's like Photoshop. But the cool thing about it is it actually records every, every button press and stroke you do. And, uh... That actually works really well in my favor when it comes to... Uh... Works really well in my favor when it comes to, like, making art content. Because, yeah, at some point I'm going to just put up, like, a bunch of art videos. I mean, hell, I could even do that today. If I wanted to, like, later tonight and just do, like, a... A bunch of art videos over on Wonderbot Prime or something. I have an iPad with making babies on it. I the, you know what there absolutely is an iPad. There's absolutely some kind of iPad uh mobile app game that is just like child rearing or something like that. Uh Pretty sure there's nothing over here, but I'm gonna check anyway. Ow, this little rock pile sucks. Unless the rocks themselves are useful, but it doesn't look like there's an entrance or anything like that. Well, and I'll just keep looking until we find Fritz. Because he's got... The fishing rod. And interestingly enough, this actually has one of my favorite fishing mini games in it. Whoops. Oh, right. This does weird steering. It's based off where your boat is pointing. This is not that weird. That's just weird compared to games where you just point the stick and the boat goes that direction. Wait. No, that is actually kind of how this works. It just, it, it doesn't like stick, stick to it exactly, so you have to kind of guide it as opposed to just the boat turning on a dime. I guess that's fair though. Here's one thing is, I don't necessarily have to get out of the boat. Okay. I'm trying to look at... What are you guys talking about? Me dying of dehydration? Oh, did I find Fritz? I did. Of course he'd be on the, uh, the one with useful things. Oh, 
The, one that, uh, the time when I sent only the doctor to Mars. Yeah, and then had everything populated with robots, but I had a I had a bad cascade collapse. And I think a couple of bugs, and yeah, just sent everything spiraling into doom. That was a fun run, though. I like surviving Mars. It's a shame it does so crap on YouTube and Twitch, because, like, it's probably one of the better, like, base builder, like, town manager games I've ever played. Maybe when they finish putting out DLC for it, I'll just do, like, one final full run of it. Nope, nothing else. Alright, sup, Fritz. <gasps> ah! Leave me alone, you crazy beast! Oh! Heck no! What's up? I thought you were that ghastly parrot! Holy mackerel, that's a huge island behind- What's that huge island behind you? I haven't even noticed it before. Let's make a way over there. Maybe we can find the rest of the crew and set up a small survival camp. <laughs> Let's go, heck no! I will stay. Oh. Nope, I guess I gotta return him- to the camp. I was hoping he would just go back on his own, but I guess this kind of makes sense. Uh... Ah! Heck no! We're in luck! It seems like somebody already set up a camp for us. And look! We found the others as well! They must be very happy to see us after the recent happenings. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Heck no! It seems that I don't have my fishing rod. Between all this ruckus, I must have lost it when we left for our great rescue mission. You be so nice and check back on those sandbars and bring it back. I'm sure you and the others would enjoy a more fishy diet. In the meantime, I'll check if there's a free shack for me. Okay, I guess we can just go up. I mean, as long as the stew exists, I have infinite stamina, which is amazing. Okay, so boats up north here. Never looked to the other side of the sandbank. Nope. Man probably could have just floated on his back all the way over here. Probably wouldn't even take too much effort. Well, back up we go. I'm not going to say that that was necessarily a waste of time, but that was a bit of a waste of time. Oh well. Oh, so, yeah, this was the island he was... Holy crap! Yeah, he could have just done that. What what an absolute trash fire of an old man. Uh, but that's fine. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, he probably left his fishing rod on this island. Yeah? Or not? No, wrong island. We row, row, row your boat gently down the sea. I would say gently, gently out to sea might work better. But yes, pretty much. Okay, no, he wasn't on this one. This one was boring and empty. Hey, and because we have infinite stamina, I can pretty much just sprint as much as I want. That's nice. And yet, uh oh no, his fishing rod's in the in this box, the box it wouldn't let me inspect earlier. Bleh. Well, let's keep exploring. Wait, did I not get it? I didn't pick it up. What? Oh, come on! That's so dumb. I interact with the thing. It should go in my inventory. Like, I realize it's kind of meaningless and, and small beans, but it's still it's still mildly frustrating uh, when I, like, chop down a tree or, like, open up a chest and then I have to make sure that the item flies into my inventory. Like, at that point, actually make me pick it up. But, like, don't have me pick something up twice? Because I'm not that useless that I'm going to, like, grab the fishing rod 
out of a box and then chuck it on the ground to then vacuum up with my my cute little sailor boy shorts. Like that's just silly. But that's how it works. That is how this game operates. There is nothing on these sandbars, is there? Why? They could have at least put like a little bit here. Univac should be on every frame. Okay, so there is absolute bupkis there. And I don't... Yeah, I don't know if there's much of a reason to explore at this point. So let's just go back to camp. And find Fritz. He might already be asleep. Oh, there he is. He's not asleep, but he does want... He does want... A new house. Wait, why did I... Oh, god damn it. I forgot. I have to harvest these. Uh. Because, yeah, the shovel... You have to shovel up the onions, but you have to gather the onions first, then shovel them. Treasure chest on the beach there. It's actually up above. If, unless I'm mistaken on which one, because I know I know there's a treasure chest up in that general area that I haven't gotten to, but that's because it's actually not reachable. Not yet. We need some kind of puzzle solving tool. Maybe the sword, because I know there I know there is a sword. Okay. Grab the taters. Oh, I should have harvested the taters, because unfortunately all the water in my bucket has disappeared. So I'm going to have to go get more water. Eh. So how is this so far? It's decent. Stranded Sails is not necessarily the mo uh, the deepest or most like complex game I've ever played, but it's charming and it has its merits. I mean, it's effectively just light survival exploration game. And honestly, that's all I kind of really wanted from it. I would I would have loved it if it was a little bit more, like, deep and complicated. And just, like, assuming that they go on to make another game after this, I would love it if they took this formula but made it a little bit more of a sandbox experience. Because this is a really good start for, like, a, a narrative survival game. It's just a little restrictive for my state, for my taste, and so if they'd actually made it, um, if they made it a little bit more flexible, on like how you go about stuff, I think I'd really enjoy it. Okay, I think we're just gonna run back in, so the, because the soup just like disappeared. In for bed. Hello, father man. I should have gone for the soup first, but that's okay. Pass out. Okay, so let's go talk to Fritz and let's see what we need for his cabin. And then I'll make the stew and then I'll I'll do many other things. Hello, Fritz. Evil. What's up, Peck? No! Oh, you found my fishing rod. Well, forgot you were looking for it and built a new one. <laughs> it's not as great as my old one, but it sure isn't as broken either. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, there doesn't seem to be a free shack left. Let's make a deal. You complete my shack and I'll give you this new fishing rod and teach you how to use it. That sound fair? Of course it does. Rugged rope. So we need... Planks and rope. But no, this is still like a fairly decent game. It's definitely the kind of like, I'm going to say shut your brain off, listen to a podcast, and just play through the game until you're done kind of game. Which, 
definitely merits for that sort of thing. Uh, I guess for me, I kind of just appreciate it because it's a really easy game for me to talk about everything and anything else. Uh, and, yeah, not have to worry about, like, getting too lost or confused. I pretty much could... <laughs> if I wanted to... If I didn't have to talk to the NPCs especially, or, like, react to them... I, I, get, I guess, yeah, if the NPCs weren't here, this is the kind of game that I could actually never talk about the game once. During a full playthrough of it, because I wouldn't need to. And that's okay. Uh, let's see. Let's get this rope going. So, we just want to make this. Can't make another one of those. Should probably make some more planks. Oh, we've got loads of planks. And loads of logs. I'll just kind of preemptively make a handful. Same thing with one of these. We'll make two of these. Maybe one more than that. Okay. I don't know if we're going to need the metal scraps for anything else, but I figured just having this nice spare stock of resources sitting around in my inventory will mean uh, I'll have to make less trips up to the crafting bench. Not that it's that big of a deal. It's just slow, and the whole energy system means I want to be as efficient with my actions as I can be. Anyway, insta-build house. I love how... In the beginning of every single one of these, like, house-building animations, we just, like, slide, like, sand-slide just sideways. No animation, we're just like, must get in position, zoop! Anyway. Oh, what's up? That's a good-looking shack! Now I can finally get my polished paint a breather from this intense sunshine! Uh, don't you think I forgot about my part of our deal, huh? Take this fishing rod, using it's very simple. See those ruffled spots in the water? When you come... Uh, come by one, just take out your fishing rod and throw out the hook. Be patient, official bite. Sooner or later, you'll see. I'll try it. It'll try and swim away, but even you are stronger than a tiddly, tiny fish. <laughs> just pull the fish towards you, but don't be hasty. Each fish has a different rhythm you'll get used to. You can catch each fish with a few well timed pulls and save yourself a lot of energy. Try it, heck no. Show me some fresh fish I can prove of. <laughs> Wish. Okay. So this should work. Yeah, wait for it to bite and then pull fish. I just have to wait for a fish. Like I said, probably one of the better fishing systems I've ever seen. All you have to do is just Time your button press to uh, to the pulse as it goes in. It's pretty similar to the Final, Final Fantasy Three Houses situation, but I like it. It's kind of no-brainer. It doesn't really get that difficult, and if you're really good at it, it goes by pretty quick. Limited, limited nonsense. Limited waste of time. Uh, let's see. And the fishing spots come back, like, once per day, give or take. Uh, and different fishing spots have different output, too. I pretty much only played a little bit of the demo that they had available to me. Uh, back when I... Uh, back at PAX. And then I was like, I'm just gonna go fishing for a while, because I really don't want to, like, spoil myself on anything, or, like, explore too much or anything like that. I just want to fish. Okay, so we also have some mackerel. Um, okay, so Dad... We don't know what Dad liked. Dad didn't like corn. Did I try tomato for dear old father man? I tried carrot, I think, for this guy. And let's give him a fish. Did I say Final, Final Fantasy Three Houses? Oh, she has a gift. I meant Fire Emblem. Oh, 
Oh, I see. So the gift is probably the heart thing. <laughs> hey, heck no, that stew's pretty good. That shovel I gave you works, but it's a chore to use. I found my old one down on the beach. The one I used all the time uh, back during the time on my parents' farm. You can make way better you can make way better use of it now, so you can have it. Balance a lot better and should make digging much less tedious of a task. Okay, makes digging a lot more efficient. So that just reduces the stamina cost, yeah? So that's less helpful. So that's neat, though, that by getting them what they like, they'll they'll give you some kind of upgrade. Now, it would be really nice if would be if the shovel actually did, like, two-by-two two spots. Anyway, talk to Fritz. <laughs> ah, heck no! What's up? Looks like you made a great catch! You've even found a really fat one! Very nice! Wait, that poor fellow swallowed a bottle with a letter in it. Let me read it for you. Bonjour, Charles! I sincerely hope this message reaches you in time. Teresa, Brenda, and I have been separated. I am trapped on this awful island in the middle of nowhere. Prefer with it not to be the case for much longer. Would it be possible for you to pick me up? Much love, Cecile. Well, Cecile sure seems mad about her situation. Ha! <laughs> You should visit your father and tell him about her message. I'm sure he'll have an idea of what to do to find Cecile and the others. I almost forgot to give you this. It's a small thing, but it has helped me survive on that lonely sandbar. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. We get Fritz's tin can. Additional food item. By jamming it in that can. That seems like a bad idea, but you know what? Whatever. Ugh. Let's go talk to... Let's go talk with Father Man. Hello, Father Man. <coughs> Ahoy, my child. I've heard the news from the others already. Thank you so much for bringing back another member of our crew. I'm so happy that Fritz is with us again. You've also found a message from Cecile. Oh, that means that they're still out there somewhere, too. This is incredible, ho oh, ho. I would love to go out there and find them, but ouch. I'm still too weak to leave this bed. Heck no, my child. I am so proud of you. You've proven to us all that you are a great adventurer. Only because of your achievements, I dare put you up to the task. Would you take on the rescue of Teresa, Cecile, and Brenda? I'm certain you can do it and reunite with our crew. Let us take a look at your map. These big islands surrounding the one we're on. They seem like a good place to search for the three. The island in the northeast seems to be surrounded by huge waves. You should avoid it as it will be way too taxing for you to keep up with the swell. But, my child, be mindful. Even rowing on low waves will cost enough energy for you to be exhausted after a while. Always bring enough food with you to stay fit on such long exploration trips. Heck no. Explore the three big islands close to ours and bring back Teresa, Cecile, and Brenda. I know you will succeed, my child. Huh. Maybe the combat system in this game is less existent than I thought. Okay, so we're almost done with some of these islands. Can't go to that one, I think. Yeah, so this one's too much, but south and west. Oh. We're... Maybe there's other islands than this. Probably not. I just remember there was, like, some ghosts that I had to fight in the demo. I'm curious how that's going to go. Maybe there's less of a focus on combat in this game. Or maybe they just cut it out. I would say that's probably the sane and the smart thing to do. But it's hard to say. Okay. Uh, And this just, this just auto-saved like seconds ago, yeah? Cool. 